This is calculator question number 33 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board is asking us if A is the mean and B is the median of non-consecutive integers, what is the absolute value of the difference? To simplify this and make it less abstract, I'm going to choose non-consecutive integers. I'm going to go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The mean is, add them up, and divide by 9. That is, according to my calculator, 45 over 9 is 5. The median, I'm going to want to get rid of the two lowest numbers and the two highest numbers. And then the next two lower numbers and the next two higher numbers, because I can keep track of that. And the number left in the middle, or if there's an even number, midway between the two middle numbers would be the median. Since the mean and median are both 5 for the numbers I made up, the absolute value, 5 minus 5, which is 0, has to be an acceptable answer. I don't have to figure out whether there are other answers. There's other ways of doing this. If I made up negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, that would work also and they're a little easier to add up. But a lot of us are uneasy about integers. Integers are whole numbers or they're negatives. And so I could have used negative 4 through positive 4, where it's more obvious that the middle number is 0. And the mean, add them up, you get 0, divide by 9, and still 0. Either way, we get the same answer that the absolute value of the difference is 0. So that would be the correct answer. College Board often asks about mean and median. And I'll post a playlist to some videos with other questions on that topic. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.